Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central. We are a large guinea pig rescue here in Sydney, Australia, and we've been rescuing for a very, very long time. And you've probably seen lots of the videos by now on the channel that are aimed to be informative and to help you with your guinea pigs so that you can help them in the best way. And we're really going to continue with bringing lots of that information to you and the value that we can extend to you so that you can enjoy your pets really well. Um, today we've had a really huge day where we had a load of health checks with guinea pigs and we had adoptions and we had people here since 8am. We're just going on for 5pm now so uh, it's really exhilarating to have lots of people want to come and participate and meet all of the various guinea pigs and, and animals that we have and at the same time um, have health checks that really do help help them. We'll upload some of that information later for you as well. Well we have four other guinea pigs that have come in during today. They've been tucked away quietly and we're just going to take a look at them now. So this is the first time I've laid eyes on them and you can do that with me. These guinea pigs have actually been looked after so uh, they are a surrender to the shelter. So I'm really expecting that they're in good condition, uh, relatively speaking. And uh, the background on them, I believe, was that they had two pet shop guinea pigs. One was pregnant and resulted in, in basically a number of guinea pigs being born. And now they're able to find a way and a place for them so that we can then rehome the others. So let's have a look. With we have piggy number one, and with with these um oh sorry sweetheart, very frightened. There's lots of loose chaff in there. So you poor little piggy, lots of loose chaff, which has just flown around all over. But aren't you pretty? So this little piggy is. And I believe we've got two boys and two girls that have come in. So this little one is a girl and we can tell looking down here very clearly at the Y shape that we have a girl. I'm just going to do a little quick initial check over her. Yep, keep you here sweetie pie. Just to get an initial idea. She looks very very healthy. Her coat's great. We're going to actually um, give her some ivermectin to make sure she's protected from any parasites and certainly in the shelter environment we just want to make sure that everything is maintainable and so we will do that and uh, we'll then give her another check once she's settled in but there's nothing that we need to take care or do with this little piggy right now so let's have a look at number two. This is piggy number two and you can see she's been flying around in the the hay that's there. These piggies are very frightened but what I can tell you just from their initial handling is that they're what people would describe as a skitty guinea pig and guinea pigs are naturally prey animals so they're naturally frightened they naturally want to flee and get away from from whatever is disturbing them so when you do have a little guinea pig like this moving slowly slow deliberate moves does help she's smelling that i've got other guinea pigs on my hand yeah hello sweetheart oh aren't you cute and moving slowly keeping them secure where their feet are always on the surface of something ensures that they will feel comfortable and they're not about to bolt she's got a cute little crest hasn't she so she's what we called an, an agouti or a gouty. Some people say gouty, some say agouti. And this little head bobbing is actually scent smelling. And I'm hoping she's the girl. She's Boys often do this more commonly than girls. So let's just check and see these two are in together. Apparently they have been kept separate. And yes, we have a little girl. Oh, she's trying to give me a little nip there. But you can see, again, the little Y shape. Sorry, little one, what an introduction, but she's very, very cute. We'll pop her away. And you can tell when they're nestled away and they feel safe, they're not panicking at all. They're just being a natural prey animal, doing what is natural to them. <laughs> okay, we, this is in one of the boxes. And there's uh, two piggies in here. So 
they're hiding in the tube. Um, maybe we should talk about these for a moment. Tubes that are made of very thin plastic like this can be eaten and chewed on, so they're not really ideal. Guinea pigs like to hide, but in particular these tubes with the ridges, they can actually hold a lot of urine and dirt and, and soil in them. So if we go around this way, whoa, I don't want them to shoot out. Sorry little ones. You can actually see that build up in this tube. But I'm not going to surprise them by getting them out of here. I'll do that in the box just carefully. And then we'll take a closer look at who we have coming into Cabin Central. So hello. <laughs> so these must be the two well. boys. <coughs> Apparently we have two boys and two girls again. He's very frightened. Hi there. And this little guy is what we call a silver agouti. So, and you can again see, although he's frightened, if we let him sit comfortably and we move slowly, it will work really well. Okay, I'm just going to have a little look. And let's show you how we can tell he's a boy. So if we lift him up, supporting his back against me, by placing my thumb on his abdomen, take a careful look at what a boy looks like, but by placing my thumb on his abdomen and then pressing, we can actually clearly see he's a boy. Oh, look at that. That's a little penile spike. I don't know, can you grab that with your hand at all? Are you able to? It's okay to do that. I'll just, there we go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> want to do that without gloves so That's... thank you very much <laughs> he's so but, yeah he's, i love that color he's beautiful isn't he what a gorgeous little fellow so and he has a right there. Oh, you're very cute oh, what a cutie he matches my jacket i was and just look, looking at that my... <laughs> what do you think of my nail polish guys i really thought it's about time i started doing this <laughs> so this is for viewer benefit only <laughs> but, but these gorgeous little piggies so yeah um we'll ask for some details on him and we do have access to those because they are surrendered and uh yeah we will then endeavor to find him a great home so <laughs> let's have a look at number two have a look at how now this is what people call a skitty guinea pig they naturally uh, 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 it's all right. They naturally fly around so fast and people instantly think they're skitty. It's because they're frightened. He has nowhere to hide. He's in a strange place. He's probably not been held that much, but we're going to, to do that now. So again, moving slowly, I'm literally going to corner him, pick him up. Let's have a look up here. Okay, so oh. I'm assuming this cute little fellow is the other boy. Um, Did they all have the crest? I think so. Uh, we'll have to go back or one girl, maybe one. not. I think, I think so, yeah. It's okay, little girl. Mm -hmm. He's checking you out. He's moving backwards and forwards. This is one of the tricks of guinea pigs that when they're really fast and small, even the bigger ones, they will shuffle backwards and forwards. And if you're not ready for that backwards forwards motion, then they can quickly get away from you. But again, if we keep him really secure and he's tucked away, his feet are on the surface, he doesn't have to panic, he can calm down in there. And uh, we'll just let him out because he, he really does want to, to escape. So before we do that, I'll pick him up, we'll have a little look, we'll check he is a boy. So again, supporting the guinea pig completely well with his back against your body. You can tell he's a boy, I can see instantly he's a boy there. That might confuse a lot of people. Um, because it's not as clear but again using this thumb it depends on whether you're right or left-handed as to which position you'd be in but you're pressing directly on the abdomen above the area when you do that sometimes you have to little move a little bit in and out but you can see I'm pressing in and voila there we have a little boy so yes little fellow you are indeed a little boy so these are the newest rescues into Cabby Central. Thank you everyone for following what we do. There's loads of information that we're going to bring to you. Um, if you have any questions, pop them down below. If we can help you in any way, make sure that you're a part of our Facebook group or the, the comments down below and 
I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye.